Hey, how's it going, guys? If you're looking at buying an Android device, whether it be a tablet or a smartphone, you'd want to make sure it's running Widevine version L1 or Widevine Security L1. One way to check that is by downloading the app called DRM Info down here. It looks like this. The logo might change later on or something along the lines, but for the most part, you should be able to get the information you want to see um, with most of the apps, I would assume. So you scroll down and you see Widevine CDM and over here it shows Widevine security level is L3. Now that is the lowest one out of all of them. Even if your device, it has a nice screen, like this one has a 1920 by 1200 full HD plus display or resolution. And unfortunately videos won't run in full HD 1080p because it's running at Widevine uh, security level L3. And that's kind of unfortunate. But if it's running L1, of course, that's not going to be a problem. Now, a little more info, if you, uh, you know, search it up and Google it, is that you'll see that on here, as it says, there's Widevine offers different levels of security, L1, L2, and L3. Now, on here, oddly enough, it says Widevine L1 and L3 are supported by Android certified devices. So if it doesn't support L1, it'll likely have L3. But what's odd is that I remember that Lenovo, the, the Lenovo Smart Tab M8 did have Widevine level L2, so people were able to watch videos in HD 720p, and that screen resolution was 1280 by 800 on that 8-inch tablet. So I don't know why it says that here. I think this must be a mistake, or maybe that's an exception. Um, uh, either way, for tab as of tablets right now, around this price point of around $150, most of them have Widevine security level L3. So even if you have a really nice resolution, um, the tablet's not, the tablet looks great, the screen, whatnot. It's pointless if it doesn't have Widevine L1, which can let you watch videos in full HD 1080p, because otherwise you'll only be able to watch it in 540p, which on it here it says it's not even HD, of course. And if you want to go a little more into it, there's a little, it's not a chart, but kind of tells you the Widevine security levels. So L3 does not have a um, trusted execution environment. I don't want to digress too much. I wanted to make this a short video, so hopefully you understand. And I guess if you don't even have the device, it's best to maybe check out a review or two, or if someone does have it online, uh, if they're able to download this app and just see which Widevine it supports. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if it was. And as always, thanks for watching.